Okay, this is going to be number two of Science Fair Project Suggestions. And in number one, what I wanted you to do was determine what type of field or wave we were having coming off of this battery that determined the orientation of how this lead and AV plug was placed next to the battery that was allowing it to work and not work. So here I have two coils. Basically what this circuit is, is the AV plug, the one in 4148s, the red LED, a coil hanging off of the cathode end of the AV plug. The other end is open. On this end, feeding the AV plug, I have a coil and just that little terminal strip on the bottom of it. And as you can see right here, we have output and we can see that our diodes and our coils are actually perpendicular to the broad side of that battery. So let's see if it reacts the same as this our initial circuit when we orient it. So now we have light. We orient it like this and we've even put it closer. And we have a very, very small amount of light. So let's turn it around this way, reorient it in this direction. And again, it's hard to discern the amount of light that we do have, but it's very small. But the minute we turn it this way, here we go. Then we can move out here. Now well, let's take and see, well, are our coils really adding much to it? Are they helping us out at all? Let's get that white lead out of there. Let's take a red lead down here. So we have something somewhat equal to compare to. And out here, the red lead is not working, but if I get this whole arrangement out here, this doesn't work all that well either. So what I want to do is place them both up about the same distance from the battery, like so. And what you're going to see is that there's very little difference in output between the simple AV plug and LED and the more complex AV plug LED and two coils. So it appears that the two coils really don't have anything to do with the whole situation. We can get just as much energy out of whatever's going on here from just a simple set of diodes and an LED in a little ring fashion. Remember that word, ring. And here we've got the addition of the coils, which are tuned uh, the Spatial resonant frequency of these coils is 92 megahertz. But anyway, there's some more information. Uh, hope you're getting closer on it. You turn it that way, it don't work. You turn it that way, it don't work. You turn it this way, it works. The same goes with the coils. So you need to figure out exactly what's happening here. What is this field? What is that wave? Or what is actually taking place to cause the difference? via only orientation of the diodes.